So today marks the official launch of this initiative. And in many ways, this initiative is set to change the lives of many young people in our country. And let us be clear that this initiative is not only going to be located in the urban area or in this midrand in Gauteng where we are. We want it to spread throughout the country, to be in the towns, in the various parts of our provinces, in the villages, and as well as in the rural areas. We want it to touch the lives of young people right there in the rural areas. This is a timely, worthy, and ambitious response. It is ambitious because of its scale. And we are particularly happy that it is responding to what we perhaps can call the greatest and most pressing social and economic challenge facing our country at this moment in our history. We face a huge unemployment challenge, but the youth bear the greatest burden of this challenge. This is made more important, this initiative, because it enjoys the support not only of the government, but enjoys the support of business, but also the support, active support of labor. But what is even more pleasing, as we heard from our brother and colleague, Josopu, it also enjoys the support of young people itself, themselves. It is the young people of this country who more than most must daily grapple day in and day out with the misery and the indignity of poverty and unemployment. And it is rather sad when you see young people standing in the corners of our streets aimlessly, standing in the streets of our villages without any hope. And this initiative is seeking to respond to that because it is they, our young people, who most carry with them the burden also of our past. And if we do not do this, their futures will be dashed by the devastating legacy of that past. It is they, as they look for work, are faced with disappointment, they are faced with frustration, with doubt and despondency. It is these young people who send their CVs around to many, many places by email, by WhatsApp, and never really get a response. Today we are gathered here because we all know too well that the depth and the extent of youth unemployment is huge in our country, and we therefore have to respond. And we know that millions of these young people do not complete school. And many that do, do not have the skills that our economy needs. We know about the extreme difficulties that poor black South Africans experience in finding employment all around without access access to networks, without information about opportunities. And as we heard, they don't want favors, they want opportunities. Without exposure to the world of work, even those who even have further education often struggle to bridge the gap between learning and earning. We know too about the great distances that separate the places where young people live from the places where they may find work. And Josopu addressed this issue very frontally. And we also know about the cost that they incur to try and find employment and having found it 
to find that it is so far away from places where they live. We gathered here today as business, government, labor, civil society, and young people because we know the challenges that young South Africans face and we are determined to confront them. And this is the beauty about having a social compact. Social compacts have to be built sometimes in small little packages. And today, we're building, in my view, what is the most important package of a social compact, where we all work together to respond to a social challenge that confronts our people. Because we are all bound together by a firm conviction that the future of our country and the prosperity of our people depends on how we respond to this challenge. We all agree that the future belongs to the young people of our country. The future belongs to those young people, but they need to see that future now and today. They don't want to see it yesterday, and they don't want to see it in 10 years to come. We are certain that although the difficulties may be great, although the obstacles may be daunting, and they are daunting, we have the means, the will, and the resources to overcome these obstacles.